Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, my name is Mario and today I'm excited to uh, feature to you a very uh, beautiful plant called uh, Philodendron Birkin. And uh, this plant is a very uh, rare plant and uh, uh, Philodendron Birkin belongs to the uh, Arum or Aroid family or the Aracea family. So anyway, the distinctive uh, features of this plant is that uh, if you uh, look at the leaves, uh, it has a variegation of the leaves and it's like somebody painted on it. So that's why I'm uh, so excited to uh, uh, feature to you about this plant because of that kind of features. Okay, and uh, they are uh, perfect for designing in, for any interiors. Because of its uh, beautiful features, I said to myself, maybe I need to uh, uh, include this into my collections because I was uh, attracted to it. It's like somebody painted the leaves. Look at the leaves. The one thing when we uh, purchase a plant, make sure uh, we know the uh, cultural requirements. It requires a temperature of uh, 64 to uh, 75 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, another uh, requirement for this plant is that this plant uh, likes uh, humidity. They uh, normally uh, grow uh, in the uh, tropical uh, rainforests where they, uh, they strive uh, very well in order to mimic that kind of uh, environment. So what you have to do is to uh, uh, put some pebbles on your pots okay, or any, you could use uh, stones or gravel uh, that you could use and then uh, pour a little bit water to it, okay? Not too much, uh, make sure uh, the uh, roots of this plant doesn't touch the, uh, the water. Yeah, they, they need uh, humidity. Or uh, what you can do also is to uh, invest into a humidifier. It's perfect for any kind of plants. How about the uh, soil? Uh, if you uh, uh, want to uh, repot this uh, plant, what I recommend to you is to uh, every year you need to uh, repot these plants that way it prevent from uh, root bound. The soil that you can use an arid mix or uh, you could uh, make your own soilless uh, mixture. You could uh, use a mixture of bark, uh, charcoal, uh, perlite or uh, add some uh, pumice to it also and mix it all together and uh, also add a little bit of cocoa peat to it. That's a perfect soil that you could uh, use for any uh, philodendrons, uh, especially this uh, uh, philodendron birkin. And if you want to have a, uh, a faster growth on these plants, what I recommend is a good idea to uh, uh, fertilize them uh, maybe uh, once a week to uh, speed up the uh, growth uh, process of these plants. If you live in the uh, temperate areas of the world, you only fertilize them during spring to uh, summertime and then stop fertilizing them during the winter time. If you uh, uh, grow them indoors, I recommend that uh, you uh, provide a uh, supplemental lighting about these plants that way uh, uh, they will uh, thrive uh, uh, very well. To reproduce these plants uh, is by uh, stem uh, cutting or by uh, division. You could divide this plant. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this plant has two uh, plants on it already. So you could uh, just divide it. Another way is the uh, stem cutting. As I've said, these plants uh, are beautiful in uh, decorating interior of the homes okay and you could use uh, nice spots you could plant them together what i have over here uh, you could uh, plant all together in one big uh, pot or a single plant okay like this what i have over here now i'm going to uh, show you on how to uh, divide this plant okay so as i've said uh, we could uh, propagate this uh, plant by uh, dividing the plant or by stem cutting. Okay, I'll show you on how to divide this plant. So what you have to do is to loosen the soil and uh, find out where you could uh, divide it. 
There you go. There you go. There's another plan and this is another plan. Maybe it's a good idea to show you uh, how we can... Uh, I could show you also on how to do a uh, propagation by stem cuttings. So what you have to do is to uh, uh, look at the node of this plant and that's where you make your cut. So if you uh, look on this plant and uh, actually there's a, uh, a root over here above the node of this plant and actually you could cut it from there. So, so I'm going to show you where I will cut it. So you could cut it from here, okay. It's okay to cut some of the leaves, you know. Anyway, there you go. So uh, there's a root over here above the node, uh, and uh, this is the one that you could use it for uh, cutting and then uh, put it in water, okay? Uh, like this, okay? Just uh, put in water like this. There you go. And what, uh, what I recommend when uh, you put in water, uh, replace the water uh, every day, okay? All right, and then you could uh, uh, replant this one, okay? And there you go. And then uh, just uh, get a, a nice soil. You could reuse the old soil also. So that's how you uh, uh, propagate this uh, plant by uh, uh, stem cutting or by division, okay? okay. Now I can uh, plant this other one to a different kind of a pot. I would like to uh, discuss also about uh, watering. Uh, the reason why uh, we kill plants is because either we neglect in watering them or uh, maybe we over water them. And a good um, measure when it's time to water the plants is to tap the uh, top portion of the uh, near the base of the plant and when it's too uh, really dry, that means it's about time to water the plant. These plants, maybe you can water them uh, once a week. Another way of maintaining these plants is if you uh, grow them indoors is to uh, you get a, a damp a cloth or maybe a tissue paper. And uh, what you have to do is to wipe the leaves, okay? Uh, remove any uh, dust, you know, and if you do this way, the leaves will become shiny. So this is a hygienic way of uh, maintaining this plant. They need the uh, TLC. And also, this is a way where you can check if there's any uh, pest uh, infestations to it, like aphids. All right, so uh, yeah, so that's the way on how to maintain these plants is by uh, wiping their leaves uh, once in a while, after uh, doing this, the leaves are now more shinier. When uh, uh, using as a as a design element for any interior, uh, what you have to do is just select a beautiful pot, maybe like this, the one that I have over here, and uh, put the plant uh, in groupings together. You could do that. And then what you have to do is uh, use some uh, uh, Spanish moss next to it, like the one I have over here. So what I did is I put a Spanish moss around the plant. More elegant when you do that. If you don't have any Spanish moss, maybe you could use the uh, a green moss. Or you can even uh, put some uh, uh, pebbles uh, next to it, uh, around the base of the plant. You could do that too. So there's so many ways that uh, you could uh, uh, design these plants and I hope that you have a successful uh, gardening with a philodendron uh, birkin 
and uh, I hope that you like this episode and if you haven't subscribed yet please uh, subscribe please like and uh, provide some uh, comments and uh, God bless you all bye bye see you next time